So welcome to the 2019 edition of the Dubai Event Freethink Night Out. To have the great minds switched in the on mode. You really just need a spirit of adventure. They just keep doing the same thing, but they do it so well that we love it. We want to be a part of it. We want to have it because we know we can trust it. The passion for discovery, the passion for explorer. The speakers that you're going to hear tonight all have that great spirit of adventure. To stand up and walk, something that's very normal for us. We don't even think twice about how to walk from place A to B and the possible obstacles we might face along the way. We just go. But now, what if you are not able to stand up from your chair and walk to the restroom? What if you are wheelchair bound and because of that, you're no longer able to hug or talk while standing and that from now on, you do have to think twice about the possible obstacles you might face when you're moving from place A to B. How amazing would it then be if you have, to have the opportunity to stand up and walk again, like you were used to, to have a device that can give you back this mobility. We work on this uh, solution, we build a motorized harness, also called an exoskeleton. Four years ago, it all started with a couple of students from the Technical University of Delft, a design that got inspired by this big international competition. This competition focuses on removing the barriers between um, people with, dis with disability, technology developers, and the public. Here, exoskeletons from all over the world are racing against each other. The race consists of daily life obstacles for wheelchair-bound people, like a stair or a sofa. And to win the race, you have to complete all the obstacles and you have to be the fastest. The competition focuses on um, innovation by making those obstacles more difficult every year. So these inspired students uh, initiated a stu non-profit student team that builds and designs an innovative and user-friendly exoskeleton. Every year, a new student team will start and at the end of the year, a new exoskeleton will be developed. But to build an exoskeleton, you not only need a team, but you also need a pilot. And this is a paraplegic that is in control of our exoskeleton. And we believe that one of the most important aspects about a medical device is that the pilot should feel comfortable within it. So to achieve this, we work in very close collaboration with our pilot during the whole year, from the designing phase to the competition. And um, we call this co-creation, and we believe that this is the key to daily life use of the exoskeleton. But to build such an a user-friendly exoskeleton, we face some challenges. One challenge is independency. The pilot wants to have control of her own movements, so she must be the one to give the commands to the exoskeleton and not the other way around. So in our design, the pilot gives commands um, uh, with the input device, and this is, this is located in a crutch. From there, she can say commands like walking or sitting down, and from there, uh, with wires, the signal is sent to the backpack. And with the backpack, uh, signals are sent to the joints, and this results into movements of the exoskeleton. Another challenge is safety, because the pilot has to feel safe and be safe. And one important aspect is that the exoskeleton is only uh, making movements with the legs that the human body is also capable of moving. Um, so to ensure the movements are done uh, correctly, we test them in the air before we let our pilot walk in it. And furthermore, the pilot does not have any strength or feeling in the legs. So she does not know how her lower body is moving. She does not feel it. So that is why it is very important that the exoskeleton gives feedback to the pilot um, about the position of her legs. And we, we do this with sound uh, visuals. So these examples show that it's one big challenge to create an exoskeleton in one short year. And to achieve this, we have to use knowledge from software, electronics, mechanics, and the human body. Together, we search for the newest technology and robotics to implement. And because we are students, we have little to no experience, and then it will be a year with a lot of trial and error. 
But with the documentation of the previous teams and with their friendly feedback, we try to challenge ourselves and make the prototypes of the year before better and optimize them. So the first team started from scratch with designing a very ambitious exoskeleton. This exoskeleton contained hip joints, knee joints, and ankle joints. And the hip joints were designed in a way that it was possible to move forward and sideways. But unfortunately, they weren't able to participate in the competition. But of course, there's no reason to give up, because the second team chose to design an exoskeleton that was able to move, to make the movements that were essential to compete in the competition. And they were moving forward with hip and knee joints. And that way, they came in second place. And with their success, the third team um, added some new features, like an ankle joint. And this ankle joint is an improvement that makes the movement of the exoskeleton more comparable to that of the human body. And for example, the slope is now better to overcome. And that way, the third team came in first place in the competition. But so, what's left to improve? Additions like more degrees of freedom, uh, a smaller or lighter design, a self-balancing exoskeleton, exoskeleton, or by making it more affordable. There are so many challenges that need to be tackled for this technology. And we hope we can con contribute to this technology um, with the use of our eagerness to face up to the challenging aspects of the technology by working in close collaboration with our help for pilot and with our full-time motivation and commitment for our team goal, namely improving the quality of life of wheelchair-bound people. So tonight, if you walk to your beautiful hotel and uh, when you face a stair or face a high pavement, I hope you will realize uh, our goal and that you are also, just as we do, are getting more excited, excited about the possible uh, possibilities that an exoskeleton technology can uh, give us. So thank you.